Hey there, Brad. Hi. Well, hello. We have Jasmine here, Kirsten Nelson. We're talking about Psych 3. Uh, this is us. We're finally here. You know, Kirsten, you've been a part of this franchise you know, since the inception. Did you ever see movies in the horizon? No, I would have probably bought a house in Vancouver if I knew that this was going to go on this wonderfully long. Uh, I think when we did the pilot, uh, Jasmine put it best of not knowing when you captured lightning in a bottle, but yet we somehow found it. Um, but each subsequent season, each subsequent movie has just been a gift. So I'm very, very thankful that the fans keep wanting more. And Jasmine, you came into the game a little bit later. Right. You, you did you let me ask you this, because it's interesting. The show was already up and moving. It had its fan base. It had its series finale. And then you come in uh, when the movies start, you know, coming into play on the Peacock um, network. Was it hard to play like catch up? Because I'm sure the cast had all a shorthand. They knew how to work with one another. Obviously, you're close to one of the stars of the film. But was it was it hard to play catch up? You know, I'm very close to one of the castmates. Mm -hmm. um, very close. Me and <laughs> really close. <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I, I knew the, the, the feel of it. And I was so nervous that I watched some episodes of Psych to like get amped up. But then the way they wrote it, it made it so easy for me. Like they wrote this amazing character that fit into the Psych world brilliantly. So it was kind of like getting, it's in, in, in sports lingo, it was in overtime that I joined, right? They, they had a special play, they threw me in in overtime, and then I feel like I kicked a field goal. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's 100%. She's, I appreciate the sports term. <laughs> She's trying. She's trying. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> no, I kicked a field goal. No, it was really great to join in the first movie, and you're right, Dulé did. I had a, you know, a, a tutoring session with Dulé before I started. The first day of filming, the first movie, the first scene was Salon A in the planetarium. And I was a bundle of nerves. And after the first take, I said, all right, I got this. And it's been off to the races ever since. And I'm sure, uh, Kirsten, when, when you know, you have been doing this show for so long, again, you have a shorthand. But let me ask you, because Dulé and James, obviously off the wall characters, James especially, when he's doing, doing uh, the scenes throughout the show, my favorite late night host was always Johnny Carson. And it wasn't because Johnny Carson was the funniest guy in the world, but he knew how to set other people up. And I felt like that was your role a lot of the times, in the, especially in the early seasons of Psych, is when they're in Chief Vic's office, you're telling them the case and you're really setting them up. Did you ever find that to be, I don't know, like not hard, but did you ever want to be the person delivering the joke or did you like kind of playing the straight woman? Uh, you know, it does take, uh, you know, you have to take a lot of deep breaths when you're not the funny guy, when you are the straight man. But it's very hard to be the straight man in order, because there's a lot of pressure on my shoulders to make sure that they get the setup, that they can then fly to be funny. I would be frustrated in those early years of like, I would call it, oh, I'm laying pipe again. I'm you know letting them know what they have to go do. Um, but to watch them finish each other's sentences and realize exactly that importance, um, I, I was so happy to be their pipe player. I was so happy to be their straight man um, if I didn't crack up between takes with them. Yeah, I, I'm sure I'm sure that was more difficult than not uh, to do that. Uh, yeah. but Jasmine, you were coming off of Ballers, which is another, I love that show. Uh, me and my fiance love ballers. We watch it all the time. And then you kind of walk right into this psych world. What do you get on Twitter? What are more people hitting you up about? Are they hitting you up about psych? Are the psychos out here or is it ballers? You know what? It's 50-50 because the, the guys on ballers love me and their wives love me. Like I got like a big fan base of the wives that watch the show with their partners. They're like, oh my gosh, we love Julie so much. And the guys were like, that's the kind of wife I want. I'm like, <laughs> that's wifey right there. <laughs> wifey. So many times they're like, you are wifey. Um, I think because Psych was such a well-established show that it's harder for them not to accept me, but they already have who they follow. Like they know who their character is. Like I'm a chief, I'm a Juliet, I'm a Gus, I'm a this. And they've been lovely to me, but I feel like I still get more baller stuff. With this third movie, we'll change that. We'll, we'll change that. I feel, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I feel like with this third movie, 
they'll see more of who she is and then it will be more like, oh, that's who she is, got it. And I feel like it'll be much more love off of this third movie. And then they want that for your wifey. If that's wifey. That will be wifey then. That will then take the place of the former wifey on Baller. Uh, <laughs> Kirsten, yeah. on, on this sh- on obviously we're talking about Psych 3. This is Gus. It's going to be on Peacock on November the 18th. It's a great movie. I've loved all the Psych films. But when you look back at the series, favorite episode, I have to know. Uh, Last Night Gus. Last and Night Gus. I, you know, it followed probably by D's Nups. Um, because it, there are episodes where we're all together and that something huge has happened, you know, instead of like, it's a case where there's might be a B storyline going on at the same time. I think with last night, Gus and with D's nups, it's everybody together in a wonderfully choreographed chaos. Um, and <laughs> I just have wonderful, wonderful memories of the behind the scenes stuff that was happening at the same time. Um, I think, I think Dulé was actually sick for a moment in real life during last night, Gus. Um, and, uh, with D's nups, it was kind of a little glimmer of what, uh, what we see when the ladies get to hang out. And now with psych three, we get a fuller picture of what happens when the ladies get to hang out. Absolutely. My final question, I'm going to direct it to you, Jasmine. I'd ask Kirsten her favorite of the, of the series, but you've been a part of this trilogy now of psych films. Is this is Gus? Has this been your favorite one to do? Hands down, my favorite. I feel like Selene was so fun in the first movie because she was just so outrageous. But in this third movie, she got to do a lot of different things. And I think the experience with the three ladies, ladies night, as we call it, was really great for us personally, our characters and the movies and the series, because it's something that you hadn't got to see before. And I feel really fortunate that we got to bring that that bond, that sisterhood to life. And you see it so much with Gus and Sean, their bond, their brotherhood, their best friendom. And with the three ladies coming together, it's like, you can see where the potential is with these three ladies and that they can also get into a little bit of trouble. All right, well, they're giving me the, the go ahead sign, but I wanna say I'm, oh, no. I'm, I love Selene because she is a Gilmore, I'm a Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, fun fact, that that's my grandmother's maiden name? in real life. Well, see, there's gotta be some relationship somewhere, right? And it also means servant of the Virgin Mary, if you don't know that. That's what the last name means. I didn't know that, but now I do. And we're cousins, Brad. I'll see you at the holidays. All right, see you. <laughs> that is Kirsten Nelson, Jasmine. Uh, thank you so much. Psych 3, this is Gus on Peacock. Take care. Thank you.